Okay. There's been a, a release from DJI about their having problems with gimbal guards like that one you see on the Altel X-Star Premium uh, interfering with their uh, BPS or ground uh, sensing camera sonar capability and it causes a yo-yo effect in the altitude hold on the DJI Phantom so they just released a statement stating that if a DJI Phantom is crashed and it's found to have been using a gimbal guard that they, they will void the warranty that's a pretty strong statement so evidently DJI has done some testing on this my past two flights I have noticed I'm having to constantly monitor the altitude and add altitude because the X-Star is settling in flight. So we're going to test that theory and see if the X-Star is in fact affected the same way. I am assuming from electronic experience that uh, the sonar is only good for probably 10 or 15 feet from the ground. So above that it probably holds altitude fine and it's not using the VRS or VPS or whatever it is, the sonar and the camera for that. It's using a barometer and GPS. So we're going to test it at low altitude and we're going to test it at higher altitude and see how it's affected and then we're going to remove the gimbal guard and fly it again. Same battery, same location, same X-Star, same app, same version, same firmware, same camera, just the only difference will be it will not have a gimbal guard. So let's get it up in the air and see what happens. Well the first thing we need to do is to get the camera guard off before we start the X-Star and that's easy enough to do okay so the camera guard is off now we'll put in a fresh battery and I'm going to take it over here because that table is going to cause compass interference and fire it up over here so, I'll bring it back in just a minute. Once it calibrates, let's go back to the radio. And we're going to hit start and wait for a response we're in warm-up mode so it's going to take a second I doubt if you're going to be able to see this um, app connected okay there we go all right and still waiting for video there's video okay now safe to fly GPS so let's bring it over here and start it from the table I just can't start it on the table with the compass because the table causes an issue with compass calibration. <clears throat> so, start the motors. Hold the takeoff and land. Okay, now, you see it settling, I am not doing anything, the 
the opposite is 12 feet. Thirteen feet. It's drifting a little, not much. Now it's settling. Still not touching the controls. Alright, let's bring it down a little lower and test. Right about there. Okay, now you see it settling? And the, the uh, distance from the ground is wrong. It says 10 feet, and it's not 10 feet from the ground. It's more like four or five feet. Now I've got to add throttle right here to bring that back up. Let's get it away from us a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna It's dancing, it's settling a little. It says 12 feet on the app. That is more like four feet, five feet. So let's go up. Get about there. All right, hands off the controls. It says 28 feet. That's a little high. Now it's holding. Staying at 28 feet. 27. But it's holding pretty pretty steady. Now it's back to 28. It's holding. Alright, so let's bring it down. Take the gimbal guard off and try it again. I'm gonna land manually. Shut it down. Okay. <clears throat> Compass abnormality. That is due to that table. All right, so let's take the gimbal guard off. Easy enough. These gimbal guards are made really well. This is a 3D printed gimbal guard, and they're made really well, but that fell off. You see these notches? They're made to fit in these notches so that they're in an exact place. Okay. And we're going to shut the quadcopter down and restart it because of the compass abnormality over there. All right, restarting. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do this fair. I had it on the ground last time. Let's set it down. Should be calibrated. Okay, take it back to the table. Okay, safe to fly. Start the motors. Take off. Okay, now, that settle, 11 feet, that's about right, Twelve feet, 11 feet, 12 feet, and the height is about accurate, and it is not uh, hands off the controls. It's not settling. It's not drifting. It's rock solid. Okay. So we're going to go up about 
there. Let's go to 28 feet like we were before. All right. Down a little. Okay. Rock, stop, rock steady. Hands off the controls. 29 feet. Not drifting. What drift you do see is clouds. Very little in the quad. Rock solid. 29 feet. So again, let's land it. Well, I think we've proven the point. We will land manually as we did last time. Stop right there about that far off the ground. Let's, let's just watch it for a second. Nine feet. Nine feet. Nine feet. Nine feet. There's no issue. It's rock solid. So let's move over to the table and land it. Okay, kids. So turn everything off. I think we've pretty much proven the point. The 3D printed plastic or whatever they are gimbal guards are definitely affecting the vertical stabilization uh, altitude control automatic altitude control that uses the sonar and camera for visual stabilization at a given height <clears throat> so I'm gonna say that this test is conclusive this does not work this gets in the way of normal operation of the Alltel X-Star Premium I do not recommend these in theory it's a good idea because it it guards the bottom of the camera it does what it's supposed to do all right it clips in there you put a pull tie there's a nice little place to put a pull tie wire tie and it protects the camera from a bump if something let's say you landed right straddling a rock it would protect that camera that's a good thing but if it interferes with normal everyday flight and control of the X-Star then it is rubbish so I'm going to recommend highly against that on the other hand, I did go to uh, Carolina Drones. Got to get their punt, uh, their uh, promo in here. There's one of their lanyards. I did go to Carolina Drones, and they had some 3D printed the the uh, gimbal guards or uh, camera gimbal locks that come with all tails and DJI's and all of these with that style camera and gimbal. Uh, really are, are again they're they're kind of rubbish the stock ones so this if you look is very easy to install a little fiddly holding the quadcopter up like this but I'm gonna stick it on there that slides over your camera lens clips the top two legs go over the um, the top of the gimbal and that holds your camera rock steady in the case like so and that is a really good idea the ones from Carolina drones come with a remove before flight tag keychain and that's a really good idea that's a lot easier to use than that fiddly junk clear plastic um, thing that comes with the Alltel X-Star premium uh, from the factory Excuse my blades. Uh, I was at the church and I ran into a 4x4 post and 
scratch my blades but I don't want to sand them because they're in good balance and they're not cracked they're not damaged so I'm not gonna mess with them I've got other props but those are, are, are tuned and they work and uh, I'll put up with the paint scratches thank you for watching and again if you're thinking of a gimbal guard similar to this for your Alltail X-Star, don't do it. It definitely does interfere with the VRS, VPS, I'm not sure what it's called, but the visual height stabilization uh, at low altitude. At high altitude, maybe not so much. But at low altitude, you will constantly be giving altitude inputs on your radio. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and share this video on YouTube as well as Facebook or any other social media that you might use. Have a good day.